Hey y'all, welcome back to the crazy. It's Leslie with Fat Cat Flossing and I have so much goodness to show y'all today. Today is Friday, itchy nose day. Um, actually it's August 14th and this is floss tube number 105 and hope y'all are here to see all the goodies. Um, welcome back whether this is your first time coming to see the craziness or you're an experienced lunatic like me. Um, I'm sure glad you're here. I enjoy visiting with you guys. It makes my day every time. It's pretty much status quo here. It's hot, you know, August in Northwest Arkansas is still pretty warm. We've been having temperatures in the mid to upper 90s. Um, the forecast is for today and tomorrow to be in the 90s and then we're supposed to have a week in the 80s and I am really excited about that because maybe my air conditioning could keep up with that. Fingers crossed. We had terrible storms this morning, although we were lucky. They apparently had um, bad enough straight line winds um, about 10 miles away in the next town over, Alma, um, where they had a lot of trees and power lines down. Unfortunately, we don't have any damage. We didn't, we had the power flicker a couple times, but it never went off and stayed off, so we got lucky. Um, the worst part is we got a couple inches of rain and the yard guy was supposed to be here, but you know, it's a lake in my backyard, so my grass is gonna be even taller than it is now. Um, Steve went, we went to Little Rock on Monday for him to have a follow-up with the surgical oncologist there. And he is, um, the incision on his back has opened up where they drained that abscess. He, so he's now healing by secondary intention, kind of from the inside out. Um, so he's still sore, but, you know, the surgeon's happy with it. And, you know, fingers crossed that continues to heal. They're now wondering if he's got some esoteric infection that I cannot think of the name of now. But anyway, he's about to be referred to infectious disease, a specialist there for that. So we'll be back in Little Rock. Well, hello, little girl. Are you here to be bad? This little monster, because she is so, so bad. Oh, she's so bad and her so sweet. She's a little chocolate lynx point. You can see her little cabby markings on her face. And her name is Reese. Her registered name is Reese's Pieces, but we call her Reese. We also call her something with the initials of GD um, <laughs> because she's into everything. She's about six months old and she's just sweet as she can be. Typical Berman. Don't feel bad and sweet. You need to get down that baby so mommy can keep going. She'd rather I just sat and held her. She'd be fine with that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have other good kitty news. I did end, up, did end up losing all three of Poppy's kittens, which was very sad. And she had a C-section, and so she got spayed at the same time, so she can't be bred again. So that's the end of that line for me, which is very sad because it's a line that went back to when I first started breeding. Um, 15 years, six, this is my 16th year. So anyway, very sad, but I won't talk any more about that because I'll cry if I do. But thank you all for your good wishes and your prayers and everything that you shared for me on um, Facebook and Instagram. I, I do appreciate it. And apparently God needed those kittens in heaven worse than I needed them here. But anyway, um, I have so much goodness to share with y'all today. So let's talk about cross stitch. And now Cutie is here to visit, so we may have we may have another guest appearance. Anyway, let me see. Ta da! For my birthday in July, my hubby was gracious enough to let me pick out several things to send to Faye Rigsby. And Faye just does an exemplary finishing job. I can do soft finishes. I don't want to do soft finishes. I don't like finishing. I can do it. Sometimes I do do it if I can't afford not to, but I would much prefer prefer to send stuff to um, somebody who knows what they're doing. And Faye did just a beautiful job on this. It's a little decorative stitch down the seam. It's got the little wool for the top and bottom and the little turquoise trim that was included with it. This pattern does not have a name. It was a Circle of Friends pattern from um, the Silver Needle in Tulsa. 
and I saw it when I think it was Linda Joe, pretty southern who had stitched it and I saw it and just fell in love with those bright happy colors and somebody was generous enough to allow me to buy their kit and I am so thrilled with how it came out. It stitched, um, sorry, cat hair in my mouth. Two over two on, this is um, Peoria Purple Linen from Weakest Eye Works. And I think most of the flosses that came in the kit were also Weakest Eye Works flosses. But I think it it's so bright and pretty and I love it to pieces. The little pins also came with it. Don't you knock that down, please. Greasy's being very helpful. Anyway, I, I love how it fit, came out, and thank you so much to Faye for finishing it so beautifully for me. So, um, and this pattern is gonna be a giveaway at the end, so y'all hang tight. It won't be the whole kit, because I've used all the innards of the kit, um, but the pattern will be a giveaway here at the end of this video. And then what do I have next? Y'all may recognize Henry O'Hare. Henry also came as a kit. I pur purchased him a couple years ago from uh, the Shepherd's Needle in Little Rock. And this pattern has all already gone on to um, Steph, uh, Pam and Steph, just keep stitching. But I also sent this again, I can finish, but I just don't want to. Um, and I was fortunate enough to be able to send this one also to Faye. I stitched Henry in 2018. And I think, yeah, I did the Sam Sarah one in 2019. But I'm, I just think he is so cute. I love how she did him. He's just stuffed. He stands up really well. He's got a perfectly flat bottom. And again, I'm just thrilled with how Faye finished him. This is Handful of Posies from, I'm sorry, I've got a cat hair just tickling the side of my face here. Um, Handful of Posies from Stacy Stacey Nash Primitives. Um, this was a limited edition market release, 2018, and I thought it was so pretty. And this is stitched on, it came with the, I believe it came with the linen, the ribbon and the little pins, and then a, you know all the finishing instructions and um, you did have to provide the flosses, but I just used the recommended flosses. And I believe I finished this in, two, I didn't initial and date this one, but this would have been a, um, a 2018 finish also. And I think it is so cute. And Faye finished it exactly like um, it was described in the, the instructions. I, if I had it to do over again, I would have asked her to put the bow up here and make something so I could actually hang it, but she finished it exactly like the instructions, so I certainly can't be upset about that. And I think, it, you know, again, she did just a tremendous job. Then the tiniest thing I sent her, this is April Showers from Blackbird Designs, a little stocking pattern, and she found a coordinating print for the back and it's an actual stocking. I mean, it's open down in there. She put the little gingham ribbon hanger and a pretty little charm on the back of it. This was stitched. Um, this is 36 count Sprite from Picture This Plus, which is a very, very pale, you can just barely see it's kind of blowing out here, but it's kind of lavenderish. Um, but it's very pale and then these were just threads from my stash um, i think they were all either color and cotton and then this blue was a ship's manner i think y'all excuse me my voice isn't going to hold out today but whoops i think it is so cute and this will go on my christmas tree because those colors again are just right up my alley uh, 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 uh. reesey is creepy closer and closer and closer to the box of finishes that I have here. But I'm not done yet. I've got another one. 
This is my first strawberry I've ever stitched. I don't know why. It was fun, it was easy, it was quick. This is um, Dancing Sugar Plums from the Deck the Halls booklet from Blackbird Designs. I stitched this, I believe, last fall. And Faye finished its cute little strawberry. It's got ruched ribbon here on the top and a little stem made of stacked buttons. And again, she did the decorative stitch along the seam here. And she just, she does a tremendous job. I absolutely could not be happier. And I will include her contact information if you have finishing that you'd like her to do for you um, in the show notes below. And then last but not least, it's another pin drum. This is In My Garden from Blackbird Designs. This is, um, it was in a Now I'm watching one of the other cats climb through the blinds. Chrissy, uh-uh. It's an adventure here every day. This was from the, um, I think the Sewing Club booklet that was released at market this year. And I am thrilled with how it came out. She made this adorable little strawberry on the top. It's got the velour um, or velvet top and bottom. And again, she did a, a decorative stitch along the seam, and I'm just beyond thrilled. This was stitched on a 36 count even weave from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. And it's flowing out too, but it has just very faint plums and blues and pinks in it. It's a really pretty linen. So I would urge y'all to check out her shop on Etsy, and I will try to remember to uh, link that also. But very, very, very happy with how all of these came out. Thank you so much, Faye. You did a tremendous job. I absolutely could not be happier with any of them. And I have to put them away or the cats will make off with them. So bear with me for a minute. Okay. So all those little ribbons and stuff, that'd be lots of fun to play with. And then what else have I been into? Well, I did have a couple of finishes over the past... It's been three weeks since I did a video. I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse me. The storms woke me up at 3 o'clock this morning, and I am not particularly well-rested today. I uh, joined the Blessed Bee Sal that was hosted by Cow Stitcher and a Stitch for Mom, I think. Um... And the hashtag was Blessed Bee Sal. And I'm going to have to yell at Chrissy again here in a minute. Sorry. But this is a Brenda Gervais pattern. It's so cute. Look how well balanced everything is here. And hold that thought. Mine, not so much. I have so, so many errors in this. But... It's done. I'm happy with it. If you didn't see the pattern, you probably wouldn't know there were errors. My bee has got his little butt backed up to this vine. He should be centered over here. Um, this flower is a stitch too wide, so it's running into that leaf. Where were my other personalizations? I forgot the little windows in the bee skeps. But again, I think if you didn't know, you wouldn't know. So um, I'm very happy with this. And I believe, I forgot to look up what linen this is. It's a 32 count, I'm sorry, 36 count, picture this plus. Um, I kind of think it's Heartland. It's either Heartland or Sand, I think. If you really need to know, let me know and I will go back. Um, I think I have it on Instagram. I can look it up. But I'm very happy with how it came out. I did change some of the colors. I didn't have a lot of the um, call for colors, so I just went with what I had. This blue is a, I think that's a color in cotton. A lot of the rest of them are Victorian motto, and then where I did have the call for colors, I, I did use those. But I really think the only ones I had that were called for were the, the greens, which I believe were on dive and I really don't need your help, Reese. Um, the other green, whatever it was. 
So, but I'm happy with it, and I think I will finish this one probably as a flat fold. Although, I might frame this and put it in the kitten room because I would like to have a wall of bee stuff in there. If I can figure out a way to get them hung where the kittens can't knock them down. But there it is. And this is one over two on 36 count. Again, I, it's a picture of this plus. And I don't remember if it's sand or heartland, but I, I think it's one of those two. Couldn't swear to it. And the flosses were just pulled from my stash. So that was one finish. And my second finish was Tis a Gift from Shepherd's Bush. I believe this was a 2019 market exclusive, but I am not absolutely positive about that. But I thought it was super pretty and I love Shepherd's Bush. And I did stitch this. This is all done with um, the stuff that came in the kit. And it's a 32 count, I believe it's French vanilla. It's stitched one over two and it came with a variety of Fancy Floss, DMC and um, Helpful Kitty not included in the kit. Let's get down little girl. Um, and a couple of silks. And again, I'm very happy with how that came out. So it's got a couple of specialty stitches. There's this little heart that's filled in with satin stitch. Um, there's a woven darning stitch here. It's more satin stitch down here. And I think there are some, oh yeah, the, not that you can tell because they're so tiny, but these are smart crosses in here. But very, very happy with how that came out also. This one I will frame when I um, move stuff around in the office and can get to my, my framing stuff. Hopefully I'll have something that will fit that. It looks like it should fit in either an eight by 10 or maybe even a five by seven, but I think an eight by 10. We'll see what I have, huh? And that'll be a giveaway at some point, um, the pattern when I get my poop all scraped together in a neat little pile. So I had two finishes over the last couple weeks. I am really, really trying to get some of the stuff that's a little bit closer to being done. Um, my whip basket is just overflowing. I have not counted my whips, but I am quite sure it's somewhere in the 30 some odd to maybe even 40 some odd, I don't know, but there's a lot. So I've been trying to, to be good and work on my whips and that's not exactly a hardship because I love them. This one has been my stitch when I go to Little Rock with Steve. This is Time for God from Lizzie Kate. And I started this as a 2018 Mania start and absolutely hated the linen that I had started on, both because it was a Weeks Dye Works, you know, the old Weeks Dye Works, it was very, very loosely woven. And I did not like this orangey color. And the piece of linen I had was much oranger than this. It just wasn't my favorite color, and I hated the weave of the linen. So I chunked that and restarted this um, this year, and I am now 60% done. There are five of these little blocks. I've got two more left to go, plus my green thread ended about four stitches short of being done with that block last night, so I just quit there. <coughs> Excuse me. So... My number one mission for this weekend is to finish this. So it's one more thing out of my whip pile. And really, I I'm kind of think that one good day of stitching, um, I should be able to get done with that. This is a 36 count vanilla colored linen. I don't, it may be Silver Moon's Weigart. Again, I could look back and figure it out. Um, and I have some of the called fours and then some of the DMC. Um, and I've just substituted when I needed to on that. The, the pieces of stitching are so small on this one that really springing for the fancy floss um, is not a particularly good investment on that. Uh, whoops. 
I left out a pattern. Give me a second so I don't get more confused than I am on any given day. I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse me. Our little Pomeranian is terrified of thunderstorms. So when all hell broke loose at 3 o'clock this morning, she was whining and fussing and dancing a jig on the bed, letting us know that she was scared to death. So, anyway. I worked a very, I think I've worked one more evening, maybe. Uh, this is Bunny and Bee from Annie Bee's Folk Art. I loved this. It was my favorite 2020 Nashville release. And I got a very little bit more done on it. I think I did another letter. So I made very little progress on this, but I am probably, I don't know, 30, 40% done. There's a lot of fill in to do in this over here. And then the vine goes on across the other way. So I, I'm, I'm like to okay. here. So I've got all of this plus the fill in. <sighs> two, count them. One, two places in the house they are not supposed to be. That's one of them. Say hi, Reese. If I get up and leave, she'll get down and follow me to wherever I go. That's all she wants to do is to hang out with me, but mm. usually there would be a squirt bottle in use here. <laughs> but squirting them when they're on the china hutch, mm, kind of counterproductive because they'll break stuff as they get down in the spazzy pack. I got a lot accomplished on this one. This is Good Deeds from Brenda Gervais with Thy Needle and Thread. I had kitted this up for Mania 2018 and I ended up not starting it because I had kitted it up on a, on a 28 count and I just wasn't thrilled about the 28 count. So I redid it this year and actually started it this time. And it's now on, this is a 36 count something or other that I don't remember what. But I've made good progress on her. Um, I think last time you saw her, I had these two flowers and most of the lady here done. So I have filled in her skirt with the exception of this white lacy stuff down at the back, bottom that I need to go back and pick up the white end. So I've done these other, brought the ground across, done these last two flowers here added that frame, and then I had a little bit of green left on my needle, so I started that little scallop down at the bottom. So, I'm real happy with my progress on this. This is another one that if I would just buckle down, I could finish it fairly quickly. And I don't frequently love stitching people because I, I'm not crazy about how they look, but I think she's really cute. So, I'm very happy with where this one is. What are the odds that YouTube picks a flattering picture? Zero to none, I would tell you from experience. <laughs> About half the time I go back and, you know, capture a picture myself and substitute it in for what YouTube picks because invariably they picture me with my tongue stuck out and my hair standing on end. And that's, like I said, on a 36 count, something or other. Um, and it's about 50-50. Actually, this is mostly the recommended flosses because I kitted it for mania a couple years ago before I got smart and realized I could work from my stash. And then lastly, I have accomplished a good bit on this one. Now, when I say I've accomplished a good bit, everything is relative, right? So while I've accomplished quite a bit for me, there is still the metric crap ton left to be done. This is Elizabeth Weston from Hands Across the Sea Samplers. She is the biggest piece I have ever attempted. I, I am not traditionally a sampler stitcher, but there was something about this one that just spoke to me. Really, really pretty with those pinks in there. You know, I love pink. This is on 36 Count Bramble from Picture This Plus. And since y'all have seen it, it's so big I can't get the whole thing in the picture. Since y'all have seen it, I have come quite a bit more down the left-hand side. 
with the border. I had made it, I think I was like across the top, but that was it. Um, but I have brought, the border is three stitches thick. I have finished up, I think I'm three stitches all the way across now. And then come quite a little ways down this other right hand side. So this is page one is finished over here. And I'm a little bit down into whatever page number is underneath it. And then I've extended the the border down past the page board page margins. Um, my goal is to go ahead and bring the border pretty much around. And I have to tell you y'all, it's either gonna meet up or it's gonna get fudged. I'm not ripping out and redoing. Um, but I would like to eventually get that border done, but I will probably kind of work along the border if that makes any sense as I'm going. Sorry, my shoulders are still hurting, so don't hold them up. And I'm gonna show y'all, I'm gonna show you from way back here so you can't tell anything. But I don't work well just page by page. I have to put the pattern together to have any kind of spatial reference for it. So that's half of the pattern, which is quite cumbersome to work with, but I, again, I need that spatial orientation. I just, I can't just look at a page isolated by itself and have any idea of how it's gonna go together. So anyway, it's, it's got a long way to go and um, but I'll get there eventually. Um, it's stitched on 36 count Bramble from Picture This Plus, which is not the recommended um, fabric. There was a 40 count something or other recommended, but it was darker than what I wanted. And, but I do have the recommended silks for it. So those were my whips and my two finishes and a partridge in a pear tree, excuse me. Okay, what else? I do have some haul. Um, my anniversary was on August 7th and my hubby, God love him, he's so, he's so good to me. I love him so much. I said, what do you want? And I said, linen. So he gave me a dollar amount and I went to my, I use my cart <laughs> on kittenstitcher.com as basically my wish list. Sometimes I get to order something from it. So I had three linens in there and he let me get all three linens. So I've got a fat quarter of 36 count driftwood from Color and Cotton. That's, I've got the windows open because I need some light. It's a little bit more, that's pretty close. It's a very, very pretty neutral. The modeling, it is modeled, um, but the modeling on it is pretty subtle and I really, really like it a lot. And then this is 36 count Liberty Gathering Gray, which is I believe an R&R &R reproductions fabric. And it's, it doesn't look, it doesn't read as gray to me. It reads as tan or beige, um, but it's also a very pretty, very subtly. It does not have, there is very, very, very subtle modeling. It could be mistaken for just wrinkles in the fabric, but it's, it's also a very pretty neutral sampler type fabric. And then my favorite of the bunch, because you know I don't like brown as much as I like other tones. This is um, 36 count My Little Dove from X2 Designs, and it is not quite as blue as what it's reading there. That's, a, that's close. It's a very, very pretty, it's halfway between blue and gray. It's really pretty, it's got beautiful modeling in it. So that's what he got me for my anniversary, and oops, I was absolutely thrilled with it. I got him a, a year-long membership to some TV service that he wanted. My husband, y'all, he's the funniest guy. He is fascinated 
with Bollywood movies. He likes foreign TV of every kind, any kind, but he's enamored of Bollywood. So I got him a year long subscription to this, I don't remember what it's called, but some kind of TV service where you can watch all the Bollywood he wants. Hopefully with his headphones on. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see, what else did I get? Um, it's my intention to start um, Land of Liberty, or Land That I, Land that I Love from Teresa Kogut. Um, I got this pattern last month, I think, and I think I'm going to start it, I know I'm going to start it on September 1st because I'm gonna kick off sep sampler September with the start. And I put up a question on Instagram and it was, my choices were between the Driftwood from Color and Cotton and the My Little Dove from XG Designs. And I think, not 100% positive, but I think I'm gonna go with the My Little Dove. Um, and I kitted it up. I had some of the threads on order from um, the Shepherd's Needle in Little Rock, which is a fabulous shop and I will link them below. You just cannot get cust better customer service. And then I also pulled, I changed I changed a few things. The reds that are called for were more of a rusty orangey tone red, and I prefer blue or red. So I did change the reds um, to just a little bit, you know, more of a blue red rather than a, an orange red. Um, so my challenge is to decide between the driftwood and the My Little Dove. And I am leaning towards the My Little Dove. So anyway, but my plan, it's part of my plans is to start that on September 1st. So I got my order from um, the Shepherd's Needle for those flosses. And then I also got uh, two of the new colors from Classic Color Works are, let's see, Little Sprout, which is a really pretty medium green and Sweet Potato, which is a kind of a medium orange, creamy orange color. So I got those. And you know, you hate for anything to travel by itself, right? So I also got um, Grace on the from Plum Street, which I love that pattern. I admit, I like stitching houses, but I admit that I am a little intimidated by this house. That's a big house, y'all. And then from Annie Bees, who I just love, I also got um, Welcome to the Hive, which is so cute. So, and then she included a free pattern and a little floss card. Anne is wonderful. They are just the best folks there. I cannot recommend to you highly enough that if you're doing mail order, if you can visit the shop in person, and if you can't, um, call them and order from them. They have a good website, and I'll put all that stuff down below. They're awesome. Okay, let me move some of my stacks from point A to point B here. Point B is a little bit of a challenge. Ah. I think that was all of my, nope, here's the rest of the haul. The rest of my haul was fabric to make project bags from. This one is a new release from oh hell can't find the designer name now but isn't that cute y'all know i love bee stuff i thought this was adorably cute i also picked up this is a very cute farm print And I got these from a website, I mean, it's a storefront also, but the website is my, I think it's myfavoritequiltstore.com. They have a great selection of fabrics. I thought the birds on the quilts were really pretty. And all of these will make their way into project bags as I have time to get it done. I was very, very non-productive the last couple of weeks because Poppy's babies, you know, I, I ended up losing them, but the little boy held on for nine days, I think. And I fed him around the clock every two hours for that nine days. 
I should have known when he didn't gain weight that it wasn't going to be a success, but I did it anyway. So I've been very sleep deprived and I haven't done much sewing because I've been stupid tired. But hopefully I'll be back at the sewing machine next week. See the gnomes? Aren't they so funny? I love this guy's feet. It's just hilarious. And then I love me some sweets, y'all. There's a reason I'm a fat lady. Just all kinds of sweets and baking stuff. Ice cream, cupcakes. Very cute. And then I picked up two Halloween patterns. I like the cats and the pumpkins. This cat juggling the pumpkin on all four feet is just too cute. And then my favorite out of all of these is this one with the ravens and the pumpkins. And you know, I'm not big into spiders, but I'm not intimidated by these spiders. Anyway, I thought this one is just beautiful. It's not typical Halloween colors either. It's got softer, you know, the kind of rose and the lavender. So this one, this one rings my chime. I'll be keeping one of these in one of the kitty cat bags for me for sure. I will have somewhere, this one I will probably have eight of because I did get a little bit larger cut of fabric of it. The others I will ha have somewhere between four and six depending on how they lay out when I start to cut them. Um, but I'll post those on Instagram as they're coming up. And then I had a little bit of stitchy kindness that I wanted to share. Y'all excuse me while I get another drink. A few months ago, I noticed um, Lisa, who is Prims on Greenway on um, Instagram, had posted that this was a unicorn chart for her. And I was kind, somebody was kind enough to send this to me as a gift. And while I do plan to stitch it, I had no plans to stitch it right now. So I let her know that I would be happy to loan her that chart. And I sent it to her and she stitched it. Isn't that pretty? And then she finished it and she sent me the pattern back. Well, not only did she send me the pattern back, she sent me such a pretty card with a beautiful note inside it. She also sent me some floss cards and I really like these. They're, they're pretty sturdy, they feel pretty good. And then she sent me with this little acorn y'all. Isn't that cute? And you know what's in it? It's got a little button closure. And then she sent me a pair of scissors, which is awesome because I like to keep a couple pair of scissors in the projects that I'm more likely to travel with. But if you see me post on Instagram recently, you'll notice that I was cutting thread with some cat nail clippers because I happen to have those in my purse. Um, so it's good to have another um, pair of scissors that I can use to travel with. And I think these are just going to live in my purse so I have them no matter where I am. So Lisa, thank you so much. I'm glad that you got the pattern to enjoy stitching. And thank you so much for your kindness in sending me um, the goodies. Very appreciated. Ooh, I left out some haul. Hang tight. Hold that thought. It's bad when you've got so much crap you can't, sorry. <laughs> when you've got so much stuff you can't find it all. That's pretty typical. Okay, um, continue with the stitchy kindness. I don't think I showed this before. Crystal Geek, who y'all have heard me mention before, she's in Florida. She does some beautiful stitching. She's just as nice a lady as she'll ever find. Um, sent me one of Misty Purcell's patterns. I bought several of Misty's patterns, but I did not have this one. This is a Robin's Discovery, I think. Yes, a Robin's Discovery from Misty. Her name is, or her shop name is Luminous Fiber Arts, and I will also link her below. So thank you again to Crystal for sharing that with me. And I think that was all, that's all the stitchy kindness. Now, back to haul. I don't think I showed this last time because Teresa had asked us to wait a while. Um, a couple months ago, I don't know, back in mid-June, I think maybe, she had posted the I don't want to belong to another club club or something to that effect. 
but she had a limited number of these kits from uh, Laurie Markovic at um, Lottie Da. And this one is called Kindred Spirits of the Thread. And what it says is Kindred Spirits of the Thread, peace and love we hope to spread. And I think that's really pretty. And it includes all of the goodies for making the little pin drawn. There's the linen, the flosses, the pattern, and then there's the, um, what you call it, wool felt to finish it with. So I got that. I was really lucky too, because she, she happened to, my husband gets up at, 3.30 for work, because he has to be at work at 5.30. So we retire to the boudoir quite early. Like, we we're in the bedroom. He's usually asleep by nine o'clock. Um, I lay there and read or watch YouTube or whatever, because that's not where my body clock wants to run. Um, but I happen to be perusing my email one evening around nine or 9.30 when this email from Teresa popped up and said, you know, don't want to belong to another club club. And I went, well, I want to belong. So I had to order that. But lots of, there was a limited number. Lots of people missed out. So I feel very blessed um, to have gotten that one. Oh, Lord, I've got stuff. Hang on. My pattern's getting bent. Okay. Um, I also, I looked, on, looked and looked and looked. And I cannot find floss drops, thread drops, for sale. Um, and I like using the thread drops. These came from an Etsy shop, and I will link the shop below, and they are very cute. There's a different pattern on either side. And they're very cute, and they were very reasonably priced. They are, however, fairly flimsy. I'm not sure how well, they're not, they're not very heavy cardstock. They're nowhere, excuse me, they're nowhere near as, um, rigid as an actual thread drop is. So I don't know how well they will hang up, hold up in the long term, but I will, they're cute and they were very reasonably priced and I will go ahead and link that shop when I do the show notes also. And if y'all know where I can order some thread drops, let me know. And then I don't think I showed these last time, but I don't, don't honestly remember. Um, but my silks of the month, arrived and these are the May silks and typically they run a little bit behind because you know shipping from Australia is not lickety split fast in the best of times and lately it's been pretty slow so these were actually May's silk of the month from silks for you five ten yard yard uh, five 10 meter skeins of silk floss, six stranded silk floss for $20, which is a terrific deal. Um, I believe that Jo probably has some openings in her thread club right now, and I will link her website below also, but they are very, very pretty. That pink and that green especially are beautiful. And then I also got my June silks of the month. And they are also really pretty. This, this is a kind of periwinkle. It's halfway between a lavender and a blue. It's really pretty. It's reading more purple than what it is. It's more of a, like I said, a periwinkle color. And then this is a very dark wine. Um, with kind of, it's kind of lavender and wine together. They're, they're gorgeous. Jo does a beautiful job um, dyeing her silks. And of course, she has very reasonably priced um, skeins and hanks you can also order. And I will put her information in the show notes. So that, finally, was all my haul. Which brings us to, time to get a drink. Plans. Well, I already talked about my plans. Um, se September, uh, Sampler September is right around the corner. And I intentionally, a couple weeks ago, put Elizabeth Weston away, even though I really was kind of in a groove stitching on her. But I put her away. But my plan is September 1st to start um, Land That I Love and then to work on the other samplers that I have going, which are my um, O Marie from Reflet de Soie, um, Harriet...
that'll be the face that YouTube captures. Um, Harriet something or other. My mind's gone blank. Um, it's a Brenda Gervais pattern. Um, Farm Girl Michelle was hosting a sow on it earlier in the year, and I need to make some progress on it. And then, um, let's see. Harriet, Elizabeth, Marie, and um, start land that I love. That's, that's my September plan. Now, I will, you know me, I'm all about stitch what I want when I want it. So, I imagine I may pull out some other stuff in between some in there, but my plan is mainly to focus on those and see if I can make some fairly good progress um, during September on those samplers. Um, for the rest of this month, however, my husband, about four years ago probably, I made my first trip to the Silver Needle in Tulsa. And they had a model of, I spooky pumpkin cottage I believe so I should have pulled it out and I forgot to get it out but um, anyway it's huge I mean it is ginormous and I told him it was a five-year project and I have since revised to it maybe a 10-year project but he every time I sit down to stitch it's are you stitching on my my Halloween piece yet so my plan for the rest of the month is to try to get some fairly good progress on spooky pumpkin cottage um, so I can make him happy. And I also need to pull out and make a little progress on um, playing with Jax from the Cricut Collection. Um, Spooky Pumpkin Cottage is from, went right out of my head. They do all the big patterns. I'll link it below, because I don't remember right now. Phil sticks, can't remember. Anyway, I'm gonna work, try to work on those two Halloween pieces and make a little bit of progress. And then, because, you know, life is, just cannot be without distractions. Um, good Lord, y'all, I don't have a coherent thought in my head. Donna Ray. Um, I can't remember the name of her channel now. Something Farm. Posted this morning that she was starting a bee sow this weekend. Well, you know, my, my cattery name is Bumblebee. I like bee stuff. I want to start something. Because I don't have enough 30 or 40 whips. So, my choices are, I'm going to start one of these tomorrow. I don't know which one. This one is a strong contender because it is very small. This is the Welcome to the Hive from Annie B's Folk Art. I think that's really cool really cute and I'm likely to do the one with the flag just because why not um, I, and I went through my stash and pulled out a few I have lots and lots of bee patterns so I pulled out a few uh, this is the beekeeper from Plum Street I think that's very cute and it kind of speaks to me because I'm the beekeeper for my bumblebees babushka's bees also from Plum Street and I was on a roll. This is Harvest Keeper. Also from Plum Street. And then I finished the Shepherd's Bush pattern that I had going. That um, tis a gift. And I almost always have to have a Shepherd's Bush pattern going. So I also looked through my Shepherd's, Bee, Shepherd's Bush Bee patterns. And found this little one called Bee Sweet. And it would also be very quick. So that's a mark in its favor. And then I had almost started this one last year and did something else instead. This is the Bee Attitude sampler. Also very cute. So I don't know which one for sure I'm going to start, but I'm going to start one of these tomorrow to stitch along with Donna Ray. And I hope y'all all, I'll put the hashtag and link to her um, below also. So those are my plans to do as much stitching as I can. All of my kitties are starting to leave. Um, I had one leave this past Monday, no, Tuesday. I go to Little Rock with another one on um, Monday. He flies out. Um, the next two leave like next weekend, and then um, the last two that are leaving out of this bunch leave the last weekend of this month. Um, and then I'll just have three little ones left that won't leave until October. So I won't have a whole lot of kitty care to do. Um, 
I need to get back to sewing project bags, but I also plan to be doing some stitching. But in the meantime, I hope y'all stitch all the things that make you, oh, I'm about to forget giveaways. Sorry, y'all, hang on. Little sticks, getting ahead of myself. Okay, where's my list? All right, from last time we had three giveaways. The first was from this for this pattern from Stony Creek called A Life of Faith. And I did the random comment picker. Um, and the winner from this one is Mandy Curie. C-U-R-R-I-E. Mandy, I commented on your comment after I did the picking thing. So if you will email me, lesliedhurley at gmail.com, and that will be in the drop down also. If you email me with your snail mail mailing address, I will get this on the way to you. This was um, a pattern that Livia from Rovaris sent for me to do a giveaway for y'all. This is Hocus Pocus. And I'd asked for you to comment boo. And the random comment picker on this one chose Deborah Gaethy, Gothy, Gave, G-O-E-T-H-E. Deborah, I commented on your comment. So if you will, again, email me with your mailing address, I'll get that sent out to you. And then our third giveaway from last week was the Little Harvest Girl, which I'm sure she has a different name, but you know, I don't read Russian. And I'd ask you to comment with the word harvest to win this one. And the random picker on this one chose Carol Hebert. I think I got your name right anyway. <laughs> so again, Carol, email me, lesliedhurley at gmail.com with your mailing address and I will get this sent out to you. And then we have a plethora of giveaways for this week because might as well, right? The first one is the pattern, and it is the pattern only. I, I've used all the other goodies. The pattern, though, for the Sam Sarah pin drum, and it's just the pattern. And it does have the finishing instructions in it, but it doesn't have all the doesn't have the linens and threads and wool and all that stuff anymore. Um, for this one. If you'd like to win this one, let's say comment and use the word flower, F-L-O-W-E-R, and you'll be entered to win this one. All giveaway rules, standard YouTube stuff. Be over 18 so I can get your address, like the video, be a subscriber, comment and use whatever keyword I tell you to use, and for this one, it will be flower. Then I'm also gonna give away the pattern. Again, I have used all the guts of the kit, so it is the pattern only. It does include the finishing instructions. This is Handful of Posies from Stacy Nash. And um, for this one, let's say hand. Comment and use the word hand. You can say, I want a handful of flowers. Then I finished Berry Cottage um, probably a month or so ago. And this is the pattern. I sent my working copy. Um, if you'd like to win this one, use the word cottage, C-O-T-T-A-G-E. And then lastly, I finished Sail Away from Shepherd's Bush, oh, probably back in June or so. This is the pattern. I am using, you know, I've used the beads and stuff. Um, so it will be just the pattern and it won't have the linen or silk or any of that stuff in it. But if you would like to be entered to win this pattern, um, say sail away, S-A-I-L space A-W-A-Y. Um, again, same thing, over 18, be a subscriber, like the video, comment using the key phrase that I've talked about. Don't use the words giveaway or free or gift or one of those things. Um, and I will pull those when I get back to see y'all again, hopefully in less than a month, but who knows? Hey, I made it in three weeks this time, y'all. That's a real accomplishment for me. <laughs> Lately, I used to do, I don't know how I did these every week, and I don't know what the heck I had to talk about every week. But I've now talked for 54 minutes, so it's probably time to let you go. Thank you again for coming to visit with me. Um, I hope you enjoy visiting with me as much as I enjoy the opportunity to visit with you. I love the comments. Thank you so much for commenting. Um, thank you so much for sharing my cross-stitch. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful rest of the month of August. I hope it cools down for everybody and that you're having a great life. Enjoy your stitching. Y'all be blessed. 
God bless y'all. Bye-bye.